The calm before the storm. Day three of tech on Leopoldstadt is about to start. It's not even 10 a.m. Stagehands have been in all departments. You have to see down here, tech table hell. Look at all these tech tables. Every department, monitors and cables and cables and monitors and every department, every department gets tech tables. So you have lighting. You have moving lights, you have sound, you have a f probably, th that's mics, you have special effects sounds. You have stage management has a table, you have the director and all their team with a table. You have designers between set, between props, between our costume designers. Everyone's got tables, 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 and a fuck ton of cables. Tables and cables. So anyways, that's our gorgeous set. When it is lit, it's a beautiful show. This is gonna be a beautiful show. Starts in 1899, so we are still crawling through the 1899 segment of the show and everyone in their costumes, stunning. Uh, so far for me, real easy. I only have so far in the 1899 section, one actor on stage. The rest of my folks don't join until the 1920s, which is the next section we jump to. So anyways, we've been just doing a lot of uh, God, it's been really civilized for us because in a lot of these techs, you're in at 8 o'clock and you're staying till after 10 at night. And we call them 10 out of 12. So you're on the clock 10 hours out of a 12-hour span. But we've been super civilized because it's not the huge musical. It's big. There are 30 actors on stage, 38 actors in the building with understudies. And we have children, so we have doubles for all these kids. There's 12 kids in this building, six on stage per night. Ooh, it's a lot and it's it takes a lot for me to not be like hey children how the fuck are you because I mean that's me anywhere anywhere especially your children fuck <laughs> so far so good so uh, it's been real civilized um, I'm gonna be starting up on the very top floor of the tower of dressing rooms the fourth floor which I'm calling us flowers in the attic uh, there's a lot of guys up there and, and the swing ladies the four adult women that cover uh, all the other women live upstairs and there's the guys and, and my guy that I dress, Brandon, who I dressed on American in Paris, he's up there. So I'm with him. You heard that, right? <laughs> can we get a warning on that? <laughs> wow. Anyways, what else can I tell you? Um, this is a joyous place. My supervisor, I've never worked with Debbie before, and we're having a love fest. I think this was a good, good match for both of us, and the crew is, our team is fun. So far, so fun. And the changes look very, not like a musical. Here come five guys, strip them down, get them back out there in a minute and a half, and, and, the, and the, the minutia that goes with that. This is seeming very civilized. I'm not fooled yet. We'll see how, if that holds up, but so far it's seeming that way. Now, the other thing I wanna tell you about that stage, the floor of that stage, you can't really tell from here, but it is raked, meaning that it, it angles down toward the audience. So even the back of the house can see the floor and the, and the detail and the light that can bounce off the floor. It's uh, the designer on the show, and I'm, not, I'm forgetting names, sorry. We stood at the back of the house because all of our costume costumes are down in the lower lobby, which is out front, and you can't come from the, low, the basement where we are behind the stage to the lower lobby in front of the stage. You can't just connect. You have to go up through the auditorium, down the stairs to get more of the costumes because everything's housed down there. All the understudies, all the things the designers are pulling. He's going to go with that shirt, not this shirt. He needs a double of this. These are the shoes we're going to do a fit. There's a million pieces down there right now that we're funneling from there to back there, either on deck level or up in dressing room, so it's a lot. What was my point? So I was standing at the back of the house to look, to go get more clothes, and I said, let's take a look at, at the scene while they were slowly teching. Gorgeous, but the way the rake stage and the and the, um, the, the, the wings on the sides and all, it brings the show like to you, like it's in your lap, It's which is uh, just a brilliant thing with this show. It's gonna be incredible. Um, the other thing with that rake stage, though, is that it can cause repetitive stress on a body, because think about it, you're standing profile, but your hips are not level. You're standing this way. So you're always in one hip, eight times a week doing those things. Now on shows where they dance, that's a real thing. Like the original Broadway production of Evita, that was a severe rake, and people had issues with repetitive stress of being on that rake. Example, the Casa Rosada when Ava, Ava sings, don't cry for me, Argentina. She's up there center. Everybody else is facing upstage, looking at her. So you're standing on a rake facing upstage, which means you're basically in a slight back bend. 
the whole time. Or if you're angled, you're slightly in a back bend on an angle. It's, it's a lot. So we have to be mindful about that with their bodies, their shoes, making sure that rubber is secure because they're on a slope. Um, years ago, the acting union had to come in and make a rule on there's only so much of a degree of pitch you can make a rake because designers are like, I want this. You're killing people. So doing cats on a rake stage, doing cats at all. So there are rules on these things, but we have a, a definite rake and it's interesting. So today we're getting a quick change booth upstage left which is so far just a, a, a set of black curtains hung on a wall. It's like it's like a timeout punishment corner right now, but we're getting a rug in there, we're getting racks for clothes in there, we're gonna get lighting in there because I know some of my changes will happen in there. But even on this show, when the paperwork's tracking an actor, he comes up stage right, quick change, two minutes, and we're like, <laughs> two minutes? Honey, that's not a quick change. I could change him 17 times in two minutes. <laughs> call me when it's 30 seconds and I'll call it a quick change because that's how we are. Anyways, uh, proud member of IATSE, Local 764, TWU, Theatrical Wardrobe Union, and um, having a ball on Leopoldstadt. Not wearing my mask because I'm alone in the mezzanine. I'm about to put it on to go back downstairs. All right, enjoy your day. Uh, okay, come see Leopoldstadt. It's gonna be very special, bye.